Hey everyone, this is Scott from MySeps, and I have a new video for you today. Today we're going to be looking at a few examples of printed designs actually on t-shirts. These are not digital images, they're, they're photographs of the final prints. So you can get a better idea of what um, the separation looks like when it's finally completed. Starting with this one, this is a, a series of separations that I did for Field and Stream. They're going to be opening up a store and I did a bunch of these magazine covers which were scans of the actual magazines from way back in the 50s and 60s. So I thought that was a pretty cool project and um, these were actually I actually think I saw this one at the uh, ISS trade show. They had it up on the wall so that was pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the next uh, this one is a typical grayscale separation that I've done. Um, this one was three colors. I mean, normally you would just probably print the black, but I think in this case there's so much um, detail that needs to be captured there that I used two grays, a light gray and a dark gray, and a black. As you can see, there's tons of detail, all these little flowers and things that needed to be captured this guy and all of the details on his shirt and everything are very subtle so you really need those extra grays in there to capture all that detail this is one of my favorite prints it's kind of an old one this was back in the day when I was working with a 16 color press basically every design that I did every separation that I did was a 13 color separation so this one actually was 11 colors Doing it now, I would probably have done this as maybe an 8 or a 9 color. But yeah, I just really like how the skin tones came out on this one. I just like the highlights and the shadows of the body and just the general um, colors of the design, you know, all came together really nice. And, you know, I was really happy with how this one turned out. I actually have this shirt uh, here at home. This is a sep that I did, um, Jurassic Park. It's I just really like how this one turned out with all of the colors. The blending of the colors was really nice in the dino's head. All the oranges blending into the blues. It was a really challenging one, but I'm really stoked to be able to see the final result of this one, and I think it came out pretty amazing. This one was nine colors. So here's another real colorful one. You know, obviously I like the stuff with tons of colors, but this one ended up being nine total colors. You know, you got the paint splatters everywhere and it just, I just really like this design and how it turned out. I just think it just, it just came out fantastic. So yeah, another nine color simulated process print. Now this one was a separation that I did in four color process and what I wanted to do on this one was be able to make it work for white and black shirts. So this is the same four color process separation. On the left side is the artwork on white, which is just cyan, magenta, yellow, black. And then I have a spot red for the top and the bottom text. And then the same exact image here on the right uh, printed on a black shirt and it's got a discharge uh, under base. So basically, on this, it's it's literally a solid square behind the uh, print of just discharge. So it's basically turning that image to white behind the, the process colors. And you can see it looks pretty close, the white version and the black version. And I was able to capture all of those uh, skin tones and variations with just the, the uh, four color process. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this one is a little nebula print and what's unique about this one is it's only six colors total so I believe there's two whites and then four regular colors so I thought that the blending came out really nice on this these are really challenging to do sometimes depending on the image I won't be able to do it uh, if the actual photograph of the nebula is you know pulled off the internet and kind of poor quality so this one the image was nice and clean and I was able to capture all those details so came out really nice this is some artwork that's uh, another colorful piece I really like this one I think I used the red and yellow to make the brown and the dreadlocks I just really like 
uh, how smooth everything came out. The transition on the shark's gums, how it's kind of pink and then fading into the gray. It turned out really smooth and nice and just one of my favorite prints there. This is one that I did uh, for gods and generals. Someone ended up being 10 colors. It probably could have been less, but um, at the time 10 was okay. And I was able to use different colors for each piece of glass um, so that they could just come out exactly how they wanted to. And uh, I did this one probably about four years ago. So it's a little old, but I think it came out pretty cool. And then last I have this one, which ended up being eight colors. Really nice photorealistic type of artwork. And the colors are really bright and vibrant and the, the print came out just how I was expecting it. So yeah, just a really nice print. If you wanna see more of this kind of artwork, I've got tons of examples on my website. If you go to myceps.com slash archive, I've got, you know, three or 400 images of prints that you can go through and just use this inspiration and see what other people are doing for their t-shirts. So yeah, be sure to check that out. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos about color separation and different techniques with color separation. So please uh, hit that like button and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.